I'm gonna snatch my life up here today. Dimple in my forehead. Sit down. If you don't have a crock pot, stop right now. What a thought. <coughs> I believe I have incredible taste in food. vlog another week of vlogs it's monday so happy monday i am making my coffee well i already made it in my cute mummy mug and i am just heating up a chocolate croissant from publix so i can have that together and i'm gonna sit outside because there was a temp drop and it's like in the 60s right now so it's like perfect weather um i didn't vlog at all during the weekend because i kind of didn't really have anything going on like all day saturday i was just home hanging cleaning laundry and i ended up going out at night with my sister and my cousin and then all day yesterday i just laid on the couch the entire day i didn't do anything and it was very needed it was very very needed so back to the grind back to it um these are the I showed them in another one of my vlogs, but if you see these at Publix, guys, and they come individually wrapped, which is great. They're really, really good. I uh, have been kind of taking on this new journey lifestyle within the past like couple of days, like I would say like week, and I just have to say I feel so good. And it is so dumb, it sounds so dumb, but it is like eating intuitively. And I have talked to you guys about this many times before, but I have struggled with eating my entire adult life really, like body image, all that stuff. And I think that so many girls do. Like, I feel like at this point it's crazy if you don't because it's just so common. And I had like taken a step back and I was like, no, I'm not like dieting anymore. Like I'm not doing that. I'm not restricting myself because it's just this vicious cycle. And um, I was trying to heal my relationship with food the entire time. And I did a really good job of it like over the last two years. So like there's no food that like scares me, like rice, bread, candy, chocolate, ice cream, nothing scares me. Um, but I've noticed that I keep kind of going back to Kind of toxic ideas around food which i feel like is also very normal like it happens and i don't want to get back there so i found this lady on tiktok i will leave her video down below and she talks all about like healing your relationship with food and like how to do it um so i've been following her i guess her tips her methods and it's literally just like relying on your body to tell you that you're hungry and then relying on your body to tell you that it's full. Like, what a thought. And I just have to say, I have been eating so much less. Not because I'm trying to, I'm just like, if I'm not hungry, I'm not gonna eat. Once I get hungry, I'll eat. And then once I'm full, I'll stop eating. I'm not gonna push myself past full just because there's still food on my plate or just because I didn't finish. Like if I don't finish, I can always save it and I can heat it up later. 
and I feel so good. Like, I feel like I haven't been thinking about food. I haven't been stressing food. I've just been eating exactly what I'm in the mood for. And if I'm not hungry, I don't eat. And then once I get hungry, I eat. It's like this crazy concept, but it has been doing wonders for my mind, for the way that I feel. Like, granted, I just got my period, so like I'm not like as bloated anymore or anything like that, but I just feel better. Like I don't feel like as like, ugh, like weighed down or anything like that. So I just thought I'd share. Um, it is not about dieting at all. Like it's all about just like relearning to trust your body to tell you what you need to do. Look at this perfect little, granted, is this like the best thing to eat first thing in the morning? No, but I don't care. I think I had mentioned to you guys, I'm trying to make sure that I don't drink my coffee on an empty stomach and I'm not like starving in the mornings, like forcing myself to eat like a big breakfast in the morning. I'm just literally force feeding myself. Like I'm not hungry yet. So I'm like, okay, I'll have something small like a piece of toast or a croissant or something. And then once I'm hungry, hungry, I'll make my meal. Mm. Outside. It's kind of gloomy, kind of sunny. It's like right in the middle. I haven't taken my first sip yet. Um, but for my plans today, I think I'm gonna go to Brenda Lynn's parents' house, which is where all of our stuff is. For Brenda Lynn Coral. And we have some orders that have to go out from our sale. So I'm gonna do that. And then go to the post office and ship those out. So good. I'm gonna finish with my closet situation. I already pulled pretty much everything out. So now I have to like sort it and see like squirrels chasing each other. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my coffee. In this nice weather, we'll probably take Lenny for a walk. And then we'll hang out for the day. Can anyone guess what's happening? What Leonard thinks we're doing? If we do something to my back closet, might as well do something to this one. Oh, we're gonna At do least it change out the. We'll do it to every closet. Yeah. This way. Change out the. There's, there will be no wire shelves. Yeah. <sighs> like we can make a really dope pantry. The pantry you see. Yeah. Like, and you know what I noticed? We don't have in this house. What? A linen closet. Like a hallway linen closet with just like all of the extra linens, like towels, I, there's none of that in I've been putting all that, like I started at some point putting some stuff in the bathroom, the other bathroom yeah. closet, but yeah, we don't have like a Like if we closet. could split or make like a little corner in the pantry for linens, that would be lovely. Sneakers. I can't wait. 
I have this leather jacket that I bought last year that I'm obsessed with and I cannot wait to wear it. It's so good. to the grocery store real quick. I don't know exactly what we need, to be honest. We need cat food. Cat food, yeah. Some snacks. Um, things like that. <coughs> okay. We saw so much fun decor. Our neighborhood definitely stepped up in my forehead or on my forehead is absolutely ridiculous you can get some nice face wash so Tyler tried the ordinary face wash that I bought I told you guys I didn't like it I tried it on camera and I did not like it um he hated it so much that he rush ordered the use of the people <laughs> face cleanser on his own um but yeah look our neighborhood is is starting to to do the thing this house right here they have the cutest pumpkin stuff just so cute like they finally they, they did it my hair is still like done from Saturday I need to get my color done so bad. I need to get my cut. But. Yeah, they were having a garage sale. And I was going to stop and I completely forgot. They always to. are. Do they? And I hate it. Why? Because our front of our neighborhood always looks like shit because they always have a bunch of fucking crap out in their front yard. It's like, I get it. Like sell shit whatever but like bro yeah it's true it looks kind of junky it looks terrible and especially that they're the first house i need to set up my insurance through your disability thing yeah like i need to i'm gonna ask Annabella's to be like hey like does it, does it cover vision i'm pretty sure everything all comprehensive I need to get new glasses. I need to get my prescription updated. I need to do like all my things. I hate, when that happens to me, like right in like the yeah. cartilage, oh my God, that's the worst. But anyways, we'll see you guys at Publix. All right, in Publix. Oh, he wants treats. Order you can bread. Look at that. There's a bougie, but I don't think they sell it here. Maybe Publix could be bougie. There's a bougie butter. It's probably not going to be in this in this section, but it's like a French butter, and everybody was they like, a different brand of burrata. They do. We haven't had burrata in a really long time. Like a really long time. We were having it like consistently at one point. Frutas. I could use like some bananas or something or some berries with oatmeal now that it's cooling down. Should we get a little thing of bananas? Tomato. That's it. So. 
on some of those other ones, like the strawberries and cream one. I mean, are we out or are we good on I don't know. I mean, I had oatmeal last night, but I didn't. I know you had bought like the big boy pack. Monster mash. That's funny. Like, what kind of cereal is that? Oh, uh, really? All the old oh, people look, are out I got today. Another Reese's Puffs with this. Cause. That's funny. Since when did cereal it's, it's become expensive. seven dollars? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yeah. I mean, it's Bogo. It's because it's Bogo. Yeah. Jack the Shit. Price, that's eight dollars. Literally eight fifty nine. That's almost nine dollars for a box, for of, a cereal. box of cereal. Yeah. Food's expensive. Everything's expensive. Pumpkin spice Cheerios. Doesn't sound good. I don't under, like, not everything has to be pumpkin. Not everything. Ooh, you know what? Speaking of pumpkin, I'm gonna have to go get us a pie. Pie? A pumpkin pie. Look at your sour cream donuts. This guy. Eight dollar pie. Apple, cranberry, and apple. Apple, cranberry, and apple. Apple, 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 well, look, the family size is two for eight. Yeah, but... We don't need two? Yeah. Okay. No, we don't need that many. They have chip. I'm just saying. If it was BOGO, it would be one thing. Yeah, but... yeah. No, when, the, when anything is BOGO, it's like... Yes, please. Bread flour. That's what we used last time, bread flour. You want to get a different kind of... Um, See, last time I got this fancy shit. Yeah, there. you got that one. I'm thinking like... The gold. Yeah, maybe that. We have yeast already. Say $20, that means what, they charge you $20 for one of these things? Yep. That's what they're about. Alright, so that's... $38. Yeah, it's better buy than... Call time. Food for Lenny. Wow, your daddy got you food, Wellies. Sink his teeth into this Danish right here. Okay. Little haul. We spent literally exactly a hundred bucks on like forty cents. Twenty three cents. Swiss rolls, Tyler. Debbie's, what are these? Cosmic brownies, Tyler, you guys already know. I got some chicken broth because I'm going to put some chicken in the crock pot just to like have. I got some lavanderita, carb counter, tortillas, love these very much. They taste exactly the same. Um, we got bananas and one tomato because now that it's like getting cooler in the mornings, it's like oatmeal, oatmeal weather. Got some barbecue sauce. This is the one that Tyler enjoys. Got some bread flour because we're pretty much out. So we got this one to try instead, instead of the other brand that we got. Tyler grabbed some pumpkin pie. I don't eat pumpkin pie, but Tyler got it. I got some Louisiana hot sauce, one of my favorites. I'm constantly switching out my hot sauces. I'm out of sriracha completely. There's like, I think there's like a sriracha shortage or something, I don't know. I got two packs of Publix, the Greenwise brand chicken. One of them, I'm gonna throw the entire pack in the crock pot. The other one I'm just gonna have, just to have. Eggs, because we go through eggs like it's no tomorrow. Um, the wet food that we buy Lenny to put on top of his food was BOGO, so we just got some because it's expensive. And it was buy one, get one free. 
a pack of Chips Ahoy cookies because I ate them all. And um, cat food and paper towels. So that's that wasn't very exciting, but this was a hundred bucks, which it wasn't too bad, honestly. Two packs of chicken, some eggs, chicken broth, some fruits. Like that was pretty good. So I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm right away going to take out the crock pot. I wanna get a new crock pot, but I don't need a new crock pot. Like my crock pot works perfectly fine. So there's like really no need for one. I know. Because mine's ugly. No, it's just the print is ugly. It's not a pretty crock pot, but it works. So whatever, I'll use it until it falls apart. We have two lemons. I haven't cut open into them yet. These are Meyer lemons. They're still a little bit green because they fell from the tree early, but two Meyer lemons fell. Uh, let's fill up these eggs. onions today i'm going to make some pico probably just to have in the fridge because you guys know i do that all the time um i gotta put this in the fridge i just leave these in the fridge just so that they stay good oh i literally will make this crock pot of chicken and then i have chicken shredded for meals throughout the week which i need because lunchtime i usually like I don't like cooking lunch. Like I wanna just heat something up and make it. I'm good to like cook dinner and that's it. I am not gonna go to the HQ today. I'm gonna go tomorrow because uh, Brendalyn's mom isn't home. So I have no way to get in. So I told her I could go tomorrow and she's just gonna leave me the key to get in there. I'm gonna snatch my life up here today with just doing all the little things that I need to do. I've been about half this thing is just started. Well, on brand for you. So I'm going to set this chicken up and then I'm going to jump in the shower. Or maybe I'll eat breakfast, then jump in the shower, get myself ready, because I want to put clothes on again. And we're just gonna like get it together for the week. This is the maple praline and caramel candle from DW Home. I get these at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. It smells so good. And now we're gonna get out the crock pot. I want the um, the Drew Barrymore one from Walmart, but like I said, I don't need a crock pot. Like my crock pot works perfectly fine. It's just horrendous. My sister got this for me, my 26th, like right around my 26th birthday. I wanted one, um, so it's old i've had it for years but it works so it's like i don't need to get a new one unless i wanted to make like multiple things like if i wanted to make like a dip okay so we're going to turn it on high i'm just going to take one of these packs sofrito broth If you don't have a crock pot stop right now it, you need one and i don't not i do not use that word i don't tell anybody they need anything you need a crock pot especially if you're someone that like you don't want to constantly be cooking you need a crock pot so i'm just going to take the chicken put it on the very bottom before adding anything is it on yes it is so i'm putting all the tenderloins I know it is very controversial about washing your chicken versus not washing your chicken. I follow a whole bunch of chefs that I know personally and they all say you are not supposed to wash your chicken. You can like squeeze like vinegar or lime on it but you're not supposed to like run the chicken under water and like do all that because it spreads bacteria like all over the place. So I will usually just put citrus or vinegar or something 
I'm using some sofrito, which if you don't have any, you need it. Mm. I'm just going to throw it on top. This is all the flavor. Some seasoning, so I'm using cracked black pepper. Some onion salt from Trader Joe's. I usually just use whatever seasoning I have, like, and you need to like season a lot because once you put the chicken broth in, it like dilutes a lot of the flavor. Mm, I'm out. This is smoked paprika. It is my favorite smoked paprika. It is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit of chili powder. I'm gonna put some Italian seasonings. I just put whatever, honestly, like, going in. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I literally need to restock this, my model and salt. Now, chicken broth. And I just use this to cover the chicken. Not too, too much, but this helps it get really, really juicy. And put the lid and you're done. You just let it sit there and it will literally do everything on its own. You don't have to do anything. If you don't have a crock pot, I'm telling you now you need one. I'll leave the one that I think is the prettiest down below um, if you need one. You can get, this is from Hamilton Beach. It was so cheap. It's just not the prettiest. So if you're somebody that likes like pretty things like I do, I'll leave a prettier one linked down below. But if you don't have a crock pot, you need a crock pot. By probably like four o'clock, all this chicken is gonna be done. It's gonna be shredded on its own and I'll just put it into a bowl. And then I can use it for burrito bowls, for salads, for wraps, for nachos like literally for anything there's my little how to make chicken in the crock pot situation so i'm gonna make myself breakfast really quick i think i'm gonna make myself just like i don't know a little burrito or something oh i'm gonna put citrus in there Durr. this is one of my lemons look at that beautiful little lemon Let's get ready. It's already late. And I wet my hair a little bit in the back. Andy Bell, don't you dare. You better not. I'm gonna do a quick makeup so that I don't look like a gremlin for two days in a row. I need some concealer. Look at that thing. This is the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop. I'm just using it as kind of like a little base. I definitely want to put on an outfit today because I told myself I was going to do it all October and I've already <laughs> skipped like four days. Look at this damn pimple. Okay, let's put some powder there. I'm like almost out of my bronzer, which is wild. And you know what I kind of want to go back to? The butter bronzer. I love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. That's like probably the best formula in the drugstore for bronzer. It's so good and they have so many colors. I'm assuming you took a shower. Sorry? I'm assuming you took a shower. No. Yeah. How was the face wash? Great. Oh, I bet it was. Mm. What? Wash your face? Yeah. I bought all this stuff the end of December, like right after Christmas. Like, So I've used this bronzer every single day for almost a year. This blush every single day for almost a year. Like almost all this stuff I've had for exactly one year because I bought it like maybe the day after Christmas, two days after Christmas. This is such a good lip liner. So good. I think my hair should be good. I don't really need to do it. Yeah, it's still pretty much. Oh, maybe a little. No, I don't. I, yeah, I definitely don't need to do it. I did it on Saturday. Maybe I could retouch like this little piece. This is why I love this curling iron because once I do it, I don't have to do it again. I'm dressed. I'm just wearing these Levi's that I thrifted 
from Goodwill. I've worn them like every day. And then this button up is old from H&M. It's just like this chocolatey brown. Um, and I need to pick a fragrance. Well, I need to put lotion on. Then I need to pick a fragrance. But since I'm right here, I might as well just figure out what do I want to wear. I like Letta 22 Auris for the fall. Where's my vanilla? The roller ball. Duh. Like, if anything is my scent, it's this every day. So good. Honestly, I'm about to finish this, so I feel like I might as well. Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. I'm not sure if this is a repurchase or it's gonna be a repurchase. I'm not sure yet. I wanna wear a ring. Mm. I need to put lotion on first. My chicken is already almost done. Face wash undefeated. <laughs> Cannot tell me that it is something anything that makes your face feel better than that. No, it is it is very good. Bless you. <laughs> Trying to be best here. Okay. I didn't make you do anything. Okay, I'm gonna do my double stacked ring. Right there. And then my Lanier Moonstone ring with, I'm hot, I can tell because my fingers are swollen. Like it's nice out, but it's not cool enough yet to. There's my rings for the day. I have on my Lanier tennis bracelet. I'll leave my coupon code for these, this is from Etsy, Reynolds and Cora, Catbird, and Anna Luisa. So there's my outfit today. Comfy, cash, but I have clothes on. Um, my chicken is smelling great. It smells so good. This is what it looks like. And I didn't do anything. I just threw everything in there and then put the lid on. So this will be done right in time for lunchtime. Oh, he's out here. I want to get that thing out of my car. Hey, can you help me when you're done? Can you help me get the thing out of my car, the dresser? It's not super heavy. I just don't think I can do it by myself. Now this pantry. I don't even know where to start. In here, truly, I don't. There is so much, but no organization whatsoever. So we can get rid of everything that has gone bad, or we didn't even know was in there, which is gonna be a lot of things. Like we have a Uno in here.
The difference it's still ugly because everything's just all over but way way better okay now it's time for veggie prep so the pantry's done some organizing I need like bins and stuff like that but at least like you can actually see what's in here now my cutting board There's a small batch, but it's fine. Citrus, I don't have lime, so. Lemon it is. Salt. Okay, we're back in this room to assess the clothing, the damage. 
what we're getting rid of, what we're tossing, what we are selling. These black jeans, I'm definitely going to sell. I like them a lot. They fit really well, but I just don't wear them that often. Probably so. No, this actually needs to go because it's like falling apart. Terrible quality. These. Okay, I'm selling. Sell this. Not too much. Don't need the rest been sitting and editing this video this whole time so that I could get it up later on today and I'm about to make myself lunch and I'm going to show you guys like my current go to favorite 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 lunch literally with no cooking because everything is already prepped and then that's going to be the end of this vlog so that I can insert that footage and edit that and then get it uploaded so I'm going to use my chicken that is in the crock pot it's still in the crock pot and it's just been on warm I'm going to use some tostadas. I've showed you guys this so many times, but I'm gonna show it to you guys again. I'm gonna do two of them because I am hungry, but I'm not starving. So I'm only gonna do two. And this is literally the easiest thing, like the easiest thing. I'm gonna put these in the oven. If you have a toaster oven too, you can do that. And I literally just let those warm up. This is from a brand called Charras. I get any tostadas. I've gotten all different brands. I don't care about the brand. I just want the crispy tostadas right there. And then on this, I'm going to put the veggies that I just prepped. So I have my pico. I have my pickled onions. I have Valentina hot sauce. I always like to put this on like my Mexican inspired lunches. This um, Paqueria street sauce, so good. If you see this at your grocery store, it's so good. You can definitely very easily make this with way less ingredients, probably way healthier. It's only 10 calories per tablespoon. Not that that matters, but you can definitely make this very, very, very easily with like Greek yogurt, avocado, cilantro, and lime and water in like a blender, which I'll probably try doing that. But for now, I'm just gonna use this. I don't know if I said shredded cheese or not, but I have this Mex er, Cheddar Jack. Shredded cheese, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that. And then we have sour cream. Normally I would use non-fat uh, Greek yogurt, but I am out of it and I completely forgot to pick some up while we were at the store. So I'm just going to use some sour cream. And all of this is so easy because everything is already prepped, which is why I love prepping pico and this right here because I love Mexican cuisine. It's one of my favorites and there's so many veggies involved in it that it's just so good for you it's healthy it's light it's fresh i love the flavors and then just having this chicken here is like 10 out of 10. i could not recommend making chicken in the crock pot and then having these veggies already cooked because i can make a burrito with this chicken and all these toppings i can make loaded nachos like i said i could do the tostadas i can do a wrap like you can do so much little mini tacos so much with it. So while those are heating up, I'll be back and I'll show you guys how I assemble it. Okay, tostadas are out. And normally I love putting uh, refried beans on these, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to use what I do have. And that's what I love about this. You literally can just use whatever you have in the fridge. So I'm sprinkling a little bit of cheese to like bind them. Then we're gonna go into our chicken. And I'm just gonna grab so that it's nice and loaded. Let's load her up, right? This is a pretty low calorie meal, so let's get nice and loaded okay so we have chicken and cheese on there right now i'm gonna do sour cream i have this little squeezable pouch this is honestly the best way to do it so we're gonna do a little squeeze on there then let's go in with our pico and our onions so 
These take up a little bit more space, so I'm gonna put these first. Then we're gonna add this little tomato and onion combo because there's no cilantro on it, so I guess it's not really pico. But it's like a little, a version of it, I guess. Yum, so much flavor. Okay. Then we're gonna do some of this avocado cilantro sauce, just drizzle. We're gonna do our hot sauce. And top it with a little bit more cheese, not too much. I mean, do as much as you want, it's your life. And that is our super yummy, super easy, light lunch. I like having a lighter lunch because I like having a big dinner. So just bomb, look at that. And I'm gonna put everything away and then we're gonna eat it together. Okay, got my water. I hate eating with my hair down, so I got my pinche. This is about to be. So bomb. Oh shit. I should have grabbed a napkin. I always get super messy. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. You guys. If there is one thing you make, I mean, everything that I ever say to make is delicious because I believe I have incredible taste in food. But these, like, so healthy, so satisfying. Crunchy tortilla. Tons of vegetables with the tomato, the onion. This would be great with guacamole too. They are so good. You got it. Immaculate. I need to wash my hands. I'm telling you, if you trust me, make those. Incredible, incredible. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this very productive Monday, snatching my life together with like food prepping, organizing, cleaning, grocery shopping, all of that. And I will see you guys in the next video.